being an entrepreneur in 2018 in St. Martin is very challenging um, because uh, we have to take into consideration the type of industry that quick to you delivery falls under. Um, we, are, we are not really a tourist, quote unquote, uh, based business, but St. Martin is a tourist based um, island. Um, so it focuses heavily on tourism and things of that nature. Um, but we focus more on uh, trying to help you know, the local community, uh, businesses, um, individuals with their uh, career services, uh, whether it's bill payments, bank runs, or even food deliveries. Uh, we try to help you know the, the local community stand on its feet or regain um, its, 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 its economic viability, um, especially in the wake of Irma. So that is what um, it's like to be an entrepreneur in 2018, um, challenging because of the industry um, uh, that is mainly tourism based. First saying business in three words. Um, well, the first one I'm going to use is the one I answered the last question with, challenging. Uh, and um, also uh, rewarding um, for the simple fact that you know it felt good to be able to do something um, on my own time, um, be my own boss as they call it, and um, you know just be able to have that, that measure of flexibility um, in planning you know, my own schedule. And the third one, I would say profitable. Uh, because contrary to popular belief, um, because uh, starting a business like this does not require that much overhead, um, it was very easy to begin, you know, turn over a profit. Even if it's a very small profit, it was it was easy um, to begin turn turn over a profit. So I would say challenging, rewarding, and profitable. Um, there's several things about being in the delivery business um, that I love, uh, and one of one of them is meeting people, meeting clients, meeting um, uh, new persons, um, and hearing how persons are hearing about this company called Quick to Delivery. Uh, it's that's very cha um, not challenging. It's very uh, interesting to hear. Um, the stories behind how persons got in contact with Quick to You. Um, a lot of the times, uh, and I gotta thank the public of St. Martin for that, uh, is through word of mouth referrals. Um, that is very key to any business. Um, our, our, our Facebook page, if you check it out, Quick to You Delivery, uh, you'll see nothing but good reviews um, from everyone who has done business with us. I actually believe and think that, you know, the, the, the lifeblood of any new business is actually referrals. That is, that actually is the um, uh, the currency of, of, of a new business. Uh, referrals. If you don't have any good referrals, you can might as well close up shop. You see now, this is the uh, first year technically um, because we really began pushing uh, the business after Irma. Um, so the next steps obviously would be uh, scaling it to a degree where it becomes not only a, 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 um, a, a how do you say, local um, business, but more of a, a regional and international business. Uh, we, we began stepping into uh, that direction a little bit last year, okay. where we had some clients from, you know, um, the U.S. and Canada contact us to do stuff for them here on the island. Mm -hmm. um, but we really want to now begin to expand that and go um, hardcore with that uh, in, in the coming years because it's a, it's a global market. So we, if, you, if you want to be successful in business, you got to figure out ways to tap into the world and not just where you're at um, because there's a lot of money in the world. And if you, don't, if you don't figure out a way to tap into it, you'll never get it. Our company, Quick to Delivery, like I said, we want to. Uh, we, we the reason we came into being, and I'll give you a back, back some backstory on how Quick to actually blew up after Irma. Um, after Irma, when literally everything was shut down, um, I went to pay a GB bill, and the GB in, in in the main the main branch GB in in Philsburg was shut down, you know, destroyed. So everything had to be funneled through the second branch, which is in Simpson Bay. Mm -hmm. And when people got there, the lines were curling out the door. There were like two, three lines on the outside, plus the line on the inside. Mm -hmm. Banks were the same thing. And in that line, I heard somebody say, listen, 
and let's have in this lineup. I'll pay somebody to do this. And at that time, I was like, you know something? I have a company like that because I started, I, I registered this company two years before, but I had a job, so I wasn't really pushing it as much as I should have been. Um, but after Irma, the opportunity arose for me to actually push this really, really hard. And that is when the idea clicked, and that is when Quick To You became the Quick To You that you know today by standing up in lines, um, paying bills to people, um, doing bank runs, and then we expanded to do uh, package pickups from Safe Cargo, EBS, um, things of that nature, and food deliveries. And that is how Quick To You is the number, that's how Quick To You became the number one time saving delivery company on the island. <laughs> If you have an idea, ideas don't really make you money. It's the execution of the idea. A lot of people have a lot of great ideas. You know, there's a lot, you can walk on the street right now and there's somebody who has an idea for a business. That's all fine and dandy. But you gotta be able to execute that idea if you want to be an entrepreneur. And also, um, in being an entrepreneur, you have to figure out two things. One, you have to figure out who you're going to help and why you're going to help them. And I say that because a lot of times people go in business um, without a clear plan, without a clear um, understanding of why they're doing what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Your business has to solve a problem and it has to provide a convenience. Um, if you can figure out those two simple things, I guarantee that whatever business you put your hand to and you commit to executing it, you'll do well. And eventually make your way to be number one in whatever category that you are in. Um, because a lot of times we, we, we think that um, just starting a business is, is, is that's all there is to it. But if you're not solving a problem, like Quick To You is solving the problem of people wasting time in lines, um, wasting time in traffic to go pick up lunch, breakfast, packages, wasting time in buying clients when you could be doing something less productive, that's a problem we solve. And providing a convenience for them because you can call me from your office Tell me what you need done, I get it done for you and drop it right back to you at your office. So you don't even have to leave the building, you don't, have to, you don't even have to leave your home for that to get done. So provide a solution to a problem, provide convenience for people and your business will prosper. Subjects, when you say subjects, I would change that word because subjects makes it appear that you have to go to school to be an entrepreneur or college. You don't necessarily have to go to school, well, let me say go to college or earn a degree to become an entrepreneur. It may help, mm -hmm. but it's not really um, a prerequisite, I would say. Mm -hmm. uh, although I do have a degree, um, it's not in entrepreneurship, obviously, or not, not even in business, but I have a degree. Mm -hmm. So to become a, an entrepreneur, I wouldn't say subjects as in school subjects, mm -hmm. but there are certain, um, there are certain, uh, how do you say, um, but there are certain life skills. Okay. Yeah. I like that. Life skills I like that, that, that you will need. Um, you will need to understand how money works. Um, that's not a subject that is taught in school, so that's why we can't say a subject. You have to understand um, the differences in, in, in good debt and bad debt. You have to understand what are, um, what are the essentials of, uh, of, of business, um, budgeting. Um, you have to understand leadership in, 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 because if you're going to run your own company, you are going to be the point person and that means you are going to be leading whether you're leading yourself or you're leading employees or you're leading your clients. You know, those, those, so those are some things that you really don't learn in school, um, but those are things that you have to invest in yourself by buying books on, or going to conferences, or, 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 or immersing yourself in YouTube videos. You know, these are some of the things that you have to do to begin to develop that entrepreneurial spirit within you to be able to, you know, you know take your business or take yourself to the next level. For the type of business that I am in, I think that the Ministry of Finance as it relates to the, um, the banking sector, um, how, how, how banking is done, um, especially as, as, as it relates to 
accepting online payments globally um, because it's 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 difficult to accept you know payments from globally recognized um, online platforms such as PayPal and, and a host of others because Simon is not recognized as a country so to speak um, so it makes it difficult and not many people do wire transfers because of the fees and all that you know other good stuff so I would I would suggest or I would like government to look into at least that sector um, so that we can you know again there's a lot of money to be had in the world and, and the way to, to become um, to empower your, your population empower your people um, to begin earning more mm -hmm. is to begin leveling the playing field um, with the rest of the world it's not you, you're not going to create um, a lot of I'm going to say like this, you're not going to create a lot of millionaires with the current system that we have. Um, you, you, you may get one or two that might slip through the cracks, but as a vast majority, you, like, you know, how China puts out millionaires often. Mm -hmm. um, like how, you know, countries such as the U.S. Put out, puts out millionaires very, very often. Mm -hmm. um, don't think that because St. Martin is such a small island, that, that the same thing is not possible because even though the island is small mm -hmm. you're still part of a global community and in that global community there's money that is circulating in that global community so the way to be able to access that wealth that money is through the online platform because that's the only way you get access to all seven point something billion people on the planet and on that seven point something billion people on the planet there's at least 300 that you can serve um, with your gift that you can provide a solution to a problem for or provide convenience for that will pay you and in turn that can help grow your business and eventually create wealth for yourself and your family and your generation so all of that to say let's get online banking up and running <laughs> or, or online payment systems you know you have to have a big vision you know if you don't have vision you ain't going anywhere